a speeding SUV that hit a guardrail, flipped over and landed upside down in a pond Sunday morning, killing six teenagers, was stolen, according to the vehicle's owner. The owner filed a stolen car report with police Monday, police said today. The owner claimed none of the teens in the SUV was related to him or as to use the vehicle, the Associated Press reported. It was unclear where the teens got the vehicle or whether they knew it was stolen. Two boys survived the crash in Warren, Ohio, including Brian Henry, who described the crash and how he survived it to ABC News affiliate WATV. Henry, 18, said cold water flooding into the packed, overturned SUV stirred him to consciousness. Henry and Asher Lewis, 15, were the only survivors of the crash that killed six of their friends, ranging in age from 14 to 19. Henry told WATV that he smacked his head on the dashboard and lost consciousness during the crash. It was the cold water that woke him up. First thing I thought was that I just wanted to give up, Henry told WATV. I was like, I can't go out like that. Henry tried to smash his way out of the car. It took me six or seven times to bust the window, he said. But when he tried to swim out, he found himself entangled with seat belts. He had to take off his shoes and pants in order to escape, Henry said. As the SUV filled with water, Henry and Lewis sprinted a quarter of a mile to the nearest residence so they could call 911. I wasn't thinking about myself, Henry said. I was thinking about the other lives that were left behind to get them help. I didn't care if I was busted up. I just had to get help there first. Speed a factor in crash, investigators say. The 18s had packed into a Honda Passport, which seats five people, and some were likely not wearing seat belts, authorities said. It was the deadliest wreck in the history of Trumbull County, located in northeastern Ohio and the worst traffic accident in the state in at least the past three years, Lieutenant. Brian Holt of the Ohio State Highway Patrol said today. The Honda Passport was traveling at a high rate of speed Sunday morning when it veered to the left side of the road and flipped over the guardrail and into a five feet deep pond, Holt said. Police did not say how fast the car was traveling, but the crash occurred in a 35 miles per hour zone, the lieutenant said. The Warren Fire Department responded into minutes after the 911 call was placed with a dive team, he said but it may have already been too late. They got in the water immediately and they did what they could do, Holt said. Five teens were removed from the vehicle. Two were taken to the hospital in cardiac arrest, where they died, authorities said. The sixth victim was located underneath the vehicle. The car was being driven by Lexus Kaysen, 19, who died in the crash. Investigators are trying to piece together what the teens were doing on the road Sunday morning and how they gained access to the SUV. Henry told WATV he was offered a ride home from a friend's house and did not know where the other seven were coming from. He said he had warned Kaysen to slow down and said that they were almost home when the car veered off the road. Before I turned around and looked at her, the car had jerked out of control. I don't know if she did it on purpose or how fast she was going, he said. Henry and Lewis were treated for bruising and other injuries and are expected to be key to the investigation.